What is up guys, Ben the Gamer here. So um, we are doing a continuation of Mafia Definitive Edition. I hope everyone had a healthy and great Thanksgiving this year. And um, now we just wait for Christmas to come. So anyways, let's dive into it, shall we? Omerta. If I'm pronouncing it right. Hmm. Yeah. Forgive me if I'm not. Of course we got the loading screen. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. All right. Tommy. What's up? Guess he doesn't want to speak. Let's go say what's up to Vincenzo Tough then. Day today, Tom. We got to keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. Alright. He just pulled that out of his ass. Frank sees in La Parra, you'll know. The old ways work. I guess. You gotta get those books back before the feds use them against us. No radio stations. Not worth the risk. Now we have to go to Biff's pawn shop. You know what? Let me change the police response settings so we don't have to worry about the cops. There we go. Now I can go as much speed as I want. This, in the simulation version, the police response are very realistic. The response to every inf infraction that you make and crimes that's really not that serious. Alright, let's pull in here. Let's go talk to him. See if he's got any information. the old school siren though in the background in this game of course Tommy what's the rumpus heard any big news lately something the Don might want to know yeah, it depends <laughs> what's it worth to you 20 bucks how about 40 all right spill the FBI is in town they're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Alrighty. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Now we gotta find little Tony. Yeah, shove it down your throat. Don't honk at me. Pshuh. I wish the car would go a lot faster.
I mean, I've given it as much gas as I can. Oops. Almost missed it. I missed my turn, though. Almost went way past it. Everything okay, Tom? Mm hmm. Nah, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? They came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. That on that Council of Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom? What's going on? Don't worry about it. You don't want to know. Let's read the newspaper. Go get them, boys. Lost Heaven Lancers. Yeah, y'all can pause that and read if you want to. I rec think I recognize this place. This is where Tommy and Detective Norman sits. Yeah, this is the same restaurant where Detective Norman and Tommy Angelo interview. Where Tommy tells the whole story of how the situation happens. Anyways, let's continue on. We return now to the cover. Out here in the armory are restless. You can almost taste the tension as we approach this, the deciding game between these two Do a little first person action here. And more than a couple of nasty flare -ups because it's years. awesome. Of course, this occasion more than any other could prove feisty. What with the drama that closed out the previous game. That, of course, saw the Lancers win to tie the series, and it's not often Empire Bay and Lost Heaven can post the game's best covering hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, a man mountain with a shock of red hair, and Lancers star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team, that is for sure. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers, Elves, Graves, and Nicholson. They seem to have pepped them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. Out of the way. ...meandering over to the home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the armor. The home of the Empire... Alright, switch Bay back to third person. This is 570 AM, Lost Heaven Radio. Thank you for listening. So the circle is the handbrake. I get it. I might perform a little drift. Out of the way, cabby boy. Tell me about it. That's a thing with Texas drivers. It's probably like that in every state. I know it's like Looks that like in Oklahoma place. and Georgia. Louisiana, too. Frank Kaladi.
Frank the Snitch. But Tommy's a snitch too. Oh, they make a Yui. Now we gotta. Tommy Take gotta to keep his distance. Frank. Gotta keep our distance. Yep, don't do anything that attracts tension. Such as honking the horn. Or. Or. Where are they moving you to? Or driving erratically. Such as driving in sidewalks and so on. Yet, they cannot know that they're being followed. Why not do a first-person action once again? Gotta act cool. Play it cool. Gotta be some kind of meat happening. Turn on speed limiter so we don't have to worry about getting too close when it comes to speed. At first, I thought this was a police station, but it's ah, actually shit. a depository a airport, Frank. or a Federal Reserve, whatever that is. Federal. Post Depot. That's what it is. I can see it on the mini map. Alright, let's keep our distance. Traffic stop. Now I can step on it. Let's turn on speed limit or though. Oh shit. That was close. Shut up. Stop with the honking. I'm Christ. trying to tail my You're target. Out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. There goes Frank. Walking into the airport. Lost Heaven Police. Who are these people? The FBI? Guy just flashed a badge at me and forced me out. Dialogues, real quick.
Airport's closed to the public. What? The uniform that guy has on with the gloves on. That looks like a vintage NYPD uniform. The one in the middle of the screen. Alright, let's go ahead and back up. Back up, Tom. Back up. Wait till it. Wait till the situation calms down, then make your move. All right, Tom. Do your thing. Gotta go sneaky mode. All right. We good. Let's keep on sneaking through. Sneak right in. Keep your gun holstered. I guess we all want the same thing. Can't say I'm happy dealing with these people. <clears throat> Surprise. Get that Tommy gun, quick. Gotta get that Thompson. Hide the body behind the bar. Since when do airports have bars and shit? Tommy gotta watch his back. Why'd the feds take charge here? Morello hasn't the honor to even show his face. For a rat like you? Nah. Get in the car. Let me get out of here. I need a hide. Out there. Ooh, that's a close one. Anyone know what's going on? They're with the FBI. It's some sort of handover. Someone's being flown out. Well, they're handing them over to who? Those men with the plane? Look like Let y'all listen to the dialogues once again. How long did it done? I'm due to fly. As soon as they fly their prisoner out, I guess. I don't know. A lot of these men don't look like cops. All right. Let's keep moving. Guess we can go collect that ammo stash. Alright, I came what I needed. Get my Tommy gun out just in case. Just in case. Things go down south. All right, we good. Why'd the feds take charge here? Shut up. Uh. 
gotta be smart how you make your move. You gotta be smart. Yeah, that's part of this mission. When you go in stealth mode, you gotta be smart. Tommy's taxi. Alright, let's um, try this door. I guess not. This way. Get that Molotov. Now we're gonna walk in here. Some more ammo stashed. Better hide. You gotta get this guy. I'm good, bro. I don't want no smoke. that body. Get that body out of here. I'll just wait for the next guy. Hide behind those barrels. Here he comes. extra ammo stash. Alright, we're good. Hmm. I would just get in the hangar. I made it. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. 
It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, you... I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello is waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Told them to get on a plane. Go on march, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March! For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane. Please. That's deep. Very deep. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. I thought he was gonna kill him at first. But he spared Frank instead. Yeah. Yeah. I have to say, Hanger. 13 did a outstanding job when it comes to the storyline. A real outstanding job. Especially with the touching moments. Yeah. It's amazing how Tommy realized that it would have been wrong to, um, kill the kill Frank, especially with his loved ones are watching. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Yeah, especially when the mother didn't want the daughter to watch the situation go down. Beautiful day, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Get me to deposit boxes so I can get out of here. Trouble, I, hope. I am, don't worry. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. Alrighty then. This must be it. I know where exactly to go. Frank Kaladi's funeral. I got the books, he covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, 
They never heard him talk about Frank again. Sayonara. Marco Morello. You're making my boys twitchy, Marco. Sergio, when I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife, his kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. Deep. It's a hell of a thing. Very deep. This is why you never join the mob. Ever. Situation like that can go down at any time. For real, for real. Alright. Well, that's about does it for that chapter. Let's continue on with the um, cutscene. Just like the to be continued thing. Visiting rich people. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Merle let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Hmm. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. Well, what kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. Dead him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si, who capisce? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di... di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Pi favori. Alright, that's about does it for this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to punch that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe and punch that bell so you won't miss a video like this. Anyways, Ben the Gamer out. Peace.